the topic of today's discussion is encephalitis. Encephalitis is the inflammation of brain parenchyma, which is differentiated from meningitis, that is the inflammation of meninges. Uh, in several conditions, they both occur combined as meningoencephalitis, including the inflammation of meninges and the brain parenchyma combined. The clinical features include the early manifestations like fever, headache, generalized fever, and impaired sensorium. Next stiffness and fraction is common. Kernick sign and Brudinsky sign are sometimes seen but are less reliable. Kernick sign uh, occurs when patient's knees and hips are flexed. The extension of knees causes pain. Whereas in Brudinsky sign, swear neck stiffness causes patient's hip and knees to flex when the neck is flexed passively. If a particular dietary chemosis is present, then meningeal caucus should be suspected, causing by Neisseria meningitis. Where is the factorial depiction of symptoms, including high fever, confusion, neck stiffness, seizures, partially occurring in children, inability to speak, that is dysphasia or aphasia, and muscle weakness or paralysis due to focal neurological symptom and viral encephalitis in europe the most common serious uh, cause of virus encephalitis is herpes simplex type 1 virus which probably reaches the brain through olfactory nerve whereas viral meningitis most commonly caused by herpes simplex type 2 virus the causes of acute viral encephalitis are divided into sporadic causes and geographically restricted causes. The sporadic causes include herpes virus, entire virus, paramyxovirus, and other rare causes as influenza virus, adenovirus, parvovirus, rubella, rabies, as I may. Whereas geographically restricted causes include arbovirus, bunya viruses, and rheoviruses. The clinical symptoms of viral encephalitis include flu like symptoms, high fever, headache. Uh, altered consciousness including lethargy, drowsiness, confusion, coma, seizures that are more common in children and focal neurological signs. Whereas more subtle presentation include low grade fever, speech disturbances as we have already uh, discussed, dysphasia, aphasia, behavioral changes and subacute and chronic presentation um, occurring in immunocompromised individuals. The risk factors depend upon um, a person's age, a weak system, a weakened immune systems, and geographical region. Young children and older children are at high risk for viral encephalitis, whereas encephalitis from herpes simplex virus tend to be more common in people 20 to 40 years of age. The patient who have weakened immune systems as of HIV AIDS. Uh, patients, um, uh, the patients started taking immune suppressing agents or drugs or um, that are suffering from a comorbid diseases and geographical regions including mosquito borne or tick borne viruses. The laboratory investigations. It includes CSF examination uh, that should be performed in all the patients until contraindicated. Diagnosis is usually based on CSF, mild increase in protein as viruses have protein capsid, and increased cells which predominantly are lymphocytes, whereas in bacterial uh, encephalitis the predominant cells are neutrophils. And the glucose is of normal level, absence of bacteria on culture, and virus is currently isolated directly from CSF. Here is a tabulated form of CSF analysis of an acute uh, bacterial, acute viral, and subacute chronic uh, tuberculosis or fungal encephalitis. The RCSF pressure is increased in all the cases where it is slightly increased in acute viral encephalitis. The lymphocytes are predominant in uh, tuberculous encephalitis and viral encephalitis, whereas in acute bacterial encephalitis, the most predominant cells are neutrophil or polymorphs. The proteins level are increased in all the cases, but it is slightly increased in acute viral encephalitis. And the glucose remains normal in acute viral encephalitis as virus don't 
viruses joint consume glucose um, while bacteria does the complication of encephalitis includes uh, vasomotor collapse cerebral edema coma loss of airway reflexes seizures gic dehydration respiratory arrest and even death the treatment include antiviral medication that is acyclovir and foscover whereas antibiotics um, are the treatment for the bacterial encephalitis and disease medications such as phenytoin or carbamazepine uh, to prevent seizures and steroids are used to reduce pain swellings and sedatives are used to treat irritability or restlessness and acetaminophen for fever or headache. Prognosis Viral meningitis has excellent prognosis with most cases resolving within 10 days whereas prognosis for bacterial meningitis depends on the causative organism as pneumococcal disease has the highest morbidity and mortality. So.